Thanks for clicking in this video and in this video we are going to talk about passive agent in the pharmaceutical industry touching the following points first definition second why passive agent is so important and lastly regulation in North America passive agent means to clean the surface of a stainless steel using an acid and when we clean it with an acid we will remove the iron from that surface and then the surface will become more rich in chromium and more corrosion resistant. There are many substances in the pharmaceutical industry that can corrode the stainless steels. And yes, I know that the stainless means no stain, but that's not the case. As we can see in the top picture, that's the internal surface of a tank used to prepare parenterals and the red color it's iron oxide. In the picture of the middle, uh, the red color is again iron oxide and that picture came from a pump that was pumping pure water. And at the bottom we can see that black residue and that black residue it's also iron oxide. It's just that the composition, the relation between oxygen and, and iron in this oxide it's different. And that sample was taken from uh, metal piece in contact with pure steam. There are many substances common in the drug manufacturing that are corrosive to stainless steel. Some examples include high purity water that it could be purified water, water for injection on any other kind of water, uh, pure steam, saline solutions and chlorine compounds. That's why when we are using stainless steels, we want to get the best of this alloy. And one of the ways that we can get the best corrosion resistance of uh, this stainless steel is passivating. In the 300 series stainless steels, the chromium oxide in the passive layer is created spontaneously with the air, but his composition is enhanced by some acids such as nitric or citric. The 316 alloy is more corrosion resistant than 304 and the L grade will improve the property of welds. Now, no matter if we have 316L stainless steel, that alloy will have still a lot of iron, at least 62% as we can see in this chart no matter what kind of stainless steels we are using it is it's mostly iron and this is why we want to passivate it now the corrosion resistance is given by a prote protective layer on the surface of this layer it's just few atom thickness and this layer will have mostly iron and chromium if the layer has more iron, this surface is more prone to corrosion. But on the other hand, if the layer has more chromium oxide, that surface will be more corrosion resistant, no matter if we are still talking about the same composition of the bulk material. About the regulation, we are not going to find a single time the word passivation in the good manufacturer practices. But what we are going to find is this paragraph. And basically what this is requiring is that the equipment or the surface of that equipment should not be reactive. And it's quite clear that if there was iron oxide, there was some kind of reaction there. In Canada, the Food and Drugs Act requires that the drugs should be prepared in sanitary conditions. And there is no sanitary conditions in a surface with a lot of uh, iron oxide. Or, other way to, to phrase this is that the equipment should prevent contamination. In that surface should be inner, passivated, if we don't want to contaminate our products with iron oxide. 
Thank you for watching this video and we keep in touch with uh, our next video of the series Passive Agent Styles still in the pharmaceutical industry. Bye now.